hopefully the wind on this ain't as soon as I said that the wind blow real hard hopefully the wind on this ain't too bad y'all uh, that y'all can hear me but uh, I just want to show y'all what's going on right quick so the beats are looking good uh, my kale has decided to bolt on me um, I'm pretty sure the ice did that because usually it won't bolt this fast if it was gonna bolt it usually waits till later in the season um, but sometimes when your plants go through something shocking to them they'll go ahead and throw seed in efforts to you know pass on their lineage so kale's going to seed that's fine because I'll just simply collect the seed and um, replant uh, I harvested off this, I think, yesterday. And y'all can see, it's already several heads ready to be harvested. Um, that Romanesco over there is looking nice. The onions are looking nice. Uh, this is that, uh, the, the broccoli with the blue stuff on the seeds. I can't remember the name of it. Carrots looking good. Garlic, celery lettuce i harvest off this probably every other day it comes right back felix you've been harvesting what you've been harvesting ain't no kidding about you excuse me sir so i planted right here i planted a purple hull pea and uh as y'all can see uh just about every last one of them have come up. I planted lady cream peas. That's my normal what I planted. I planted them over there. I see another one coming up. But I think I'm going to throw a couple of more seeds down. Because three plants in that. Felix. 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 Yes, you are my sidekick. But the people can't speak cat knees. Okay. Right here I planted what's called iron and clay. Um, iron and clay is the uh, peas that they may use to make uh, Hop and John in uh, South Carolina. So those are peas brought by um, enslaved people. So that's a, that's a real old seed right there. Um, and what I'm about to plant right here, I'm about to plant whippoorwill. These peas were also brought by enslaved Africans. To America, y'all. Excuse my hands. Excuse me while I open this. I ain't got no tripod. Here come the, the street sweeper. Felix don't like the street sweeper. He is running out. Okay, they gave me a nice amount of seeds. So. Look at what you made me do. You made me drop all the peas. Not all of them, but a nice amount. Felix. So I'm just going to push these down. We're supposed to get rain today, so um, that should rain these in nicely. Up under here feels kind of weird. Like, like it's, I don't know. But you just not gonna be quiet today, are you? No time today are you going to be quiet. But anyhow, y'all know how peas do, they come up super fast, so uh just be ready for that. It's a lot of wait a minute. It's a lot of interesting wood chips and things <laughs> under all that anyway so I got those planted now I'm gonna wash my hand off because it's really muddy like I said we're gonna get rain today so let me tell y'all something the ice storm it ain't kill back nothing not in my opinion the bugs are already out um, I planted okra, 
there. I think in there. I know I planted some up there. None of that's come up yet. Uh, these are more rat tail radishes. They have come up nicely. Y'all can see I got garlic stuck everywhere. If you're new to my channel, um, you know I put garlic everywhere. I think I get garlic in every one of these. Garlic, 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 garlic. Onions, garlic, garlic, garlic. So, um, this shard, now that it's warming up, it's actually starting to do a little something. I'm um, still waiting to see if these gonna come back, these peppers, these peas. They were looking the best out of all the stuff. I'm trying to see if, if I see any new growth. I see a little bit, but the growth is so slow. I think I'm gonna pull them, cause by the time they get, you know, once it warms up, they're not gonna make no peas anyway. I planted a pea here called Pidget Pea. I think it's from, well look at here. Now these went on ahead and made some peas and they grew fast too. Cause that wasn't like that a few days ago. Anyway, I, I grew some peas called uh, Pidget. Hey, out of my beds. Hey, no. Lord, have mercy. This cat has gone insane. Anyway, I um planted some peas called uh, Pidget Peas here. They haven't come up yet. I just did them the other day. Out of my bed. Um, haven't planted anything here. Out of my bed. I have told you. How many times? Your head hard this morning. Um... Oh, now the beets want to come up. All those beets I planted, now they want to come up. Because at first I thought my seeds was duds. And I'm like, I saved those seeds. But now they're coming up now. Like, that's a beet. I think that's a beet. That's a beet. That's a beet. See how you see the stem's red? When the leaves are shaped like that and the stem's red, that's a beet. Now there are some weeds in here, but... But yeah, the beets are coming up. Because I'm like, I scattered them beet seeds. And I know that should have been good. But on to the exciting stuff over here. So, y'all see them look green? My watermelons is coming up. So those are bread for watermelons that I'm growing again. Um, this is a brand new bed. Then, Talita sent me some watermelons from Benin, Africa. And that's one right there. I'm, I think it's another one coming up over there. Then, uh, P, P. Smith, uh, yeah, P. Smith Garden, a penny. She sent me some watermelons that she grew. Y'all should go on her channel and check out the watermelons she grew there on the inside. They were like pink and yellow. She named them Starburst Watermelons. So, they haven't come up yet. I didn't sow all the seeds. I'm sure they're going to come up. But these are some other watermelon seeds that she sent me. They had like a white seed. But the edge of the seed was black. So that was interesting. I'd never really seen that. Usually watermelon seeds are either black or white. They're not like white with a black rim on it. So I sold them and they're coming up. But like I said, I'm sure the other ones will come up too. They just, you know, they come up when they're ready. Because I actually sold, sold more seeds than that. I'm going to see how they look and thin and do what I need to do accordingly. Um, I'm gonna come over here. I think last time I didn't show y'all over here. So stuff over here is looking good. The aphids is out already. The harlequin bugs is out already. That's why I said the ice didn't kill nothing. Um, haven't had to deal with the mosquitoes yet, but this other stuff is already out here. So it's like these bugs is, they like ice, what's that? I don't know where they took cover, but them, that, that storm didn't slow them down not one bit. But if y'all look, y'all will see my stuff is growing nicely. It's getting bigger. These are some volunteer uh, red mustards. I got, I see several volunteer red mustards, which is cool because I think these are about to bolt on me. Um, the stuff survived the ice. We just know that sometimes, like I said, plants, they go through that kind of shock some temperatures that they really not expecting they will bolt on you i forget what this is but this is looking really nice this right here if i'm not mistaken is tatsoi 
Um, I think I got these seeds from Color Rock out. I'm almost certain I did. And look how pretty they are. Um, they'll get a little bigger and I'll start harvesting out them. Strawberries from uh, Stardust 2. And um, if y'all notice, y'all can see the flowers. There's a flower, there's a flower. Um, here's a little berry. Let's see if I can get. <coughs> there's a little strawberry. So these uh these strawberries she sent out, they some they some real good specimens. Cause they grow fast and they put on berries fast. Here's another one. Here come the street sweeper. There's another berry. So I gotta put my beer traps over here. I hope y'all can hear me over the street sweeper. Um, and the killing part is the street sweeper don't even really sweep up nothing. Like it's still like it's hilarious. It still be dirt in the streets, but anyway, um, these are my kaolets. Um, if y'all don't know what those are, they're like Brussels sprouts, but they the little instead of them being like tight little heads of cabbage, they look more like little kale heads or whatever they have little the leaves are a little bit more open um this is a horseradish i went on here to plant it in the corner and i tasted the leaves and it tastes just like mustard which is very interesting i'm gonna have to look up and see this horseradish in the mustard family i put money on it that it is but the leaves taste just like mustards but y'all see my greens bolting here it is one of them but that's good um i didn't want them to bolt this fast but it's okay because this will help bring pollinators to the garden and, and you know, get them coming this way uh, now before my okra and, you know, everything else gets gets going good um, and, and the, the peas and stuff. So this will bring pollinators. Like I said, they survived the cold just fine. I think what I'm going to do is harvest all the bottom leaves off of them and just let them put energy into making these flowers. They will make a few more leaves for you, but, um, and they don't get bitter. You can, um, at least not in my experience, you can harvest the leaves, uh, while they're bolting. They're not like lettuce. Um, <clears throat> so that's that. I need to get this comfrey somewhere. I need to pull those weeds. And, um, this is the onion patch. So these are the ones that went all the way from seed. We'll see how, how they do. These are the sets that I have. Um, all of this little stuff over here. Some onions and beets in there. Lemongrass here. You can see the greens coming back in it. I separated a lot of lemongrass. Because um, it was all root bound and stuff like that. So these are figs. Violet de Bordeaux. Violet de Bordeaux. You can see the leaves coming out on them. Um, I put rabbit tobacco in here I think. I don't see it coming out yet. These are the mulberry cuttings. You can see the, the um, buds are opening. So they're starting to bud out. Y'all see the azalea bush? I thought it was the ice was gonna kill it, but nope. It went on and flowered for me. The rose bush is also putting on a lot of growth. So let's go around the corner and see what's up. So I got a couple of things I wanna show y'all. So. So all of these mulberry cuttings, with the exception of a very few, are all starting to bud out. Gooseberries, same thing. One of these is a chasta or something. Like, I don't think they're all good. No, one of them is green. Like, this part is either green and that's red. Gooseberries. The, um, this is a white mulberry. So it's leafing out. Um, this one is... I think everberry, mulberry. Um, my pepper hasn't come back yet. I, I'm gonna be honest, that photo grease, I don't know if it's coming back or not. It may or may not, we'll see. Um, this is budding out. These are mulberry cuttings as well. Those cuttings came from my neighbor's tree across the street. I don't know what kind of mulberry that is. I think it's just like your just regular common mulberry that you see out and about. Um, don't laugh at my greenhouse, it's just in tatters. Y'all can see some of this weeds back there, but y'all can see the pomegranates that made it. I don't think any of those made it because none of them seems to be coming out of dormancy. And all the rest of these are coming out of dormancy. 
which that's all good. That way, you know the weak stuff versus the strong stuff. Um, lost a bunch of garlic over here. Looks like the bunch of onion is fine. Um, earlier, I saw two bumblebees or carpenter bees. I don't know which one they are. Really pollinating uh, my blueberries. Because y'all see where this one has the little white bell-shaped thingy on it. And this over here doesn't. Those have probably been pollinated. But yeah, I saw bees just over here really pollinating this. But these are the most blueberry flowers I've ever had. Like last year I had four or five berries and no freaking, um, I think the birds got most of my little stuff. Um, I don't think I got all the um, berries. So this is very encouraging to see that this bush is doing well. I see a lot of the white little bell things on the ground. So I guess a lot more of them have been pollinated than I thought. Um, cause usually when it pollinates, they go ahead and fall off. All these green little leaves, blackberry. This is a Celeste fig leafing out. Um, so this is what I say, what I tell y'all, um, I did not protect these figs at all when that ice came. The only thing I did was pile those leaves up around the roots to make sure that the roots were insulated from actually freezing. If you keep your fig roots from freezing, you ain't got to worry about these trees. Like, I see so many people doing so much. Just make sure the roots don't freeze. You ain't you ain't got to. If the roots don't freeze, they'll be all right. Um, because you see these trees are leafing out just fine. That I did not cover them. I didn't cut on them. I didn't do nothing. All this stuff I see people doing, I didn't do none of that stuff. Here's my LSU figs. All I did, see they leafing out. That's one of them. This is the other one. This is LSU gold. Um, and I'm going to trade off with somebody. They got some LSU purple that I want, but they don't have the gold. I'm going to send them a gold. They're going to send me a purple. We're going to do some horse trading. But, uh, yeah, you don't have just make sure your roots don't freeze, y'all. Um, and you'll be good. Let me see. Let me go back here. And this will be our last little stop. The bananas, to my knowledge, have not started growing back yet from the roots. Um, ugh. I got some potatoes coming that I'm going to plant. Y'all see my bok choy went to seed, but bok choy does that. No, it's not a... It usually generally wants to go to seed after it makes so much. I can't remember what these were. That shot of both on me, too. But it's all good. Back here, I had planted a long, 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 long time ago some kaolets and some other brassica. And a couple of the seeds must have germinate back then, but they germinated now. And they actually look halfway decent. Um, I think the bees have been back here pollinating this stuff. It looks like a lot of the flowers have fallen off, like the petals. Yeah, see, can y'all see right here? See that? So... Yeah, ant, get off. So, um, y'all see that in the middle there? That's the peach. So you have the flower first, and then you have that little part. And that's that's going to be the peach. That'll swell up, and the rest of that will come off. I think it's starting to rain. It's supposed to rain today. I thought I was going to get to finish doing some painting that I was doing, but maybe not. Um, but yeah, the flowers, they kind of start out like that. But I know the bees have been back here. I saw them. Um, orange tree, still losing leaves. Um, I see this part is dying back, but I think I did the scratch tis. Eh, it's still green in there, so I'm thinking it's just going to lose a lot of its leaves and then come back and then like regrow them. Um, that's what it did the last time it went through some real cold coldness um my calamondins in the front are actually growing new leaves right now i was trying to see if this is the kumquat trying to see if this was uh potentially putting out any new growth i don't see any but 
Y'all look at the kumquat. It looks much better. It did drop a lot of leaves, but it didn't drop. This one's going to drop all of them. Um, apple tree is leafing out. Pear tree. It's got blooms on it. Sorry, y'all. The wind's blowing. Um, not a ton of blooms. Last year was a real heavy uh, pear year. This tree didn't, hard, didn't have any pears, so this tree may give me a little pears. My big tree may give me a little, but I don't think it's going to give me a ton. Um, the persimmon, no cover, no nothing. Y'all see it leafed out beautifully. Um, I don't. I don't. I assume it'll give me fruit this year. I assume. I don't see any. Uh, the flower thing thingies yet but we'll shall see um this stuff i still need to feed this matter of fact i put some uh worm tea on there yesterday i need to plant in this i need to harvest some of this this is lettuce i neglect this this is green soil i need to harvest some of that and i know i said i was going to show y'all i didn't because it was about to rain i just really need to get it done but I did put the essential oil on the B box. I put a couple of drops by the front door and I opened it and put a couple of drops in the back of it. So that's what I did on that. Let me hurry up. I'm at 20 something minutes. Um, so I planted some brassica back here. Can't remember what it was. That came up nicely. Tomatoes seem to be coming up nicely. There's something else coming up right here. These tomatoes did not have these leaves yesterday, literally. Um, this is either a weed or a pepper. I think it's a pepper. Um, I planted some peppers in there. I don't see anything coming up yet. Shot no peppers. It takes forever. Um, Those leeks are coming up. These leeks over here are finally starting to come up. Um, I planted tomatoes in here. This is tomato, tomato. Somebody says weed, like that's a weed. That's a weed. Um, I can't remember what I planted over there. I wanna say peppers. So I planted several different varieties of peppers. Um, I don't see nothing on the banana front. Not a thing. Um, my pigeon peas, they looked like they made it through the ice, but they didn't. I have more seeds. I just plant more. The big one, I was hoping that the big one would come back. We'll see. I got to pick up all this plastic and stuff, too. Um, that little one down there. ain't. Mm -mm. But I know the roots are fine, so it'll come back from the roots. But, yeah. I got a few things I need to figure out, like where I want to plant my tree collards. I got some more seeds I want to start. Felix, laying down on job. Um, so, yeah, I got some stuff like that I need to figure out. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, I'm glad to see this persimmon bounced out of it because, uh, I don't know, people was like, persimmons are finicky they don't like to be moved mine didn't i'm thinking people are moving them and they're not dormant move move your persimmon when it's dormant i had no issues none um or move it in the fall when it's about to go dormant because that's what i did mine wasn't completely dormant but it was going dormant and that's when i moved it so kenny's peeing in a pile of leaves oh <sighs> anyway um but yeah I'm thinking that's what it is. You're just moving it at the wrong time. You can't stress a tree more by doing that. And this little peach right here. I'm going to see if this peach. I'm going to see how long it's going to take that peach to give me fruit. Because that sucker came up last year. And it's looking good. Look at the little, look at the little trunk. It's looking kind of good. I told him I was peeing in them leaves. Yeah, uh huh. Come over here like that. Y'all see all these little off my apple coming off the rootstock? I need to cut all of them down. 
I'll sell them as scions or something. But yeah, y'all. That's what it do. Everything looking all right so far. So, till next time. See you guys later.